Hey everyone, we are starting the second phase of our journey into the human metabolism, specifically the breakdown of uh, glucose or cellular respiration. And um, we're using this as our roadmap. And last class, we started the first leg of our journey, which was glucose down to pyruvate in a process known as glycolysis. Um, we're going to continue that journey with the second and the third biochemical pathway. The second biochemical pathway is very simplified and kind of really only one enzyme reaction that we're, we're going to look at. So we're going to take that pyruvate and we're going to oxidize it down into acetyl-CoA. That's going to be the second leg of our journey. And then in the third leg of our journey, that acetyl-CoA is going to enter in what is known as the citric acid or the tricarboxylic acid or the Krebs cycle. You'll hear me using these phrases interchangeably. So this is the pink and the blue sections here represent the next two biochemical pathways that we're gonna talk about um, in the breakdown of glucose or in cellular respiration. And in order to be able to do that, we need to know a little bit more about the structure of the mitochondria to kind of understand what is going on here. So on page 203, is this image here, and we're gonna label the, the structure of the mitochondria. Um, before we do that, we're gonna talk, we're gonna, I'm gonna remind you guys of a couple of things about the mitochondria itself. So remember that the mitochondria is one of those endosymbiotes. Um, and so, Mitochondria is believed to be, or similar to purple bacteria. And um, when we look at the, 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 the evidence for that endosymbiotic, one of the things that we know or that we look at is that double membrane. It does have its own DNA, divides by binary fission, all those um, pieces of evidence that we learned way back in unit two, at the beginning of unit two. Um, but we're gonna now look at that structure a little bit more in depth with this image here. So the first thing I'm gonna point out is this part out here. This is the outer membrane of the mitochondria. This is the one that comes from the host cell. So it's the outer membrane of that mitochondria. Now the mitochondria itself, believed to have been a prokaryote, had its own membrane, and we're gonna call that the inner membrane. So this is the one from the prokaryote itself. Now, that inner membrane is enveloped or enclosed in an outer membrane that's smaller than the original prokaryote. So as a result, that inner membrane is all folded up. And that's what these lines here represent, that they are all folded up. So the space that is between the outer membrane and the inner membrane, that space in between is called the inner membrane space. And the folds themselves, that the foldings of that inner membrane have a special name, they're called crustae. So that's just the foldings of that inner membrane. And then on the inside, of the inner membrane. So in other words, it would have been the inside of the prokaryote, the very, very inside, that inner space inside the inner membrane is known as the matrix. So you're gonna need to know these terms and be familiar with them for the, neck, the, the Krebs cycle and the last biochemical pathway in cellular respiration, which is oxidative phosphorylation.